is Colossa Marcolo, and I will be your host for today's session. First and foremost, I would like to welcome you all and to thank you for joining us for yet another webinar session with us at SciFest Africa. And secondly, should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave your questions on the Q&A. And if you are viewing this session on Facebook, please do not hesitate to leave the questions on the um, comment section. Um, to today's talk, um, the title is Science Tunes, um, Science Through Cartoons. Now, what are science tunes? The simple way I can put it would be to say it is a way of conveying scientific information um, through the use of cartoons. Not only are these um, cartoons fun, funny, and exciting, but they also give insight to new scientific research um, and concepts in a way that is simple, um, understandable, as well as um, thought provoking. Now, introducing our speaker for today, Mr. Vishal Mulia. Um, he is a science tune maker. He has been making science tunes uh, for over a decade now. Um, his science tunes have been published in various magazines as well as journals. By professions, he is a lecturer at both university and graduate level, and he has published quite a number of research papers, so you can check that out when you have time. Um, some of his achievements include um, being selected to be a kitten raiser at India's National Science Festival in 2020. And he has um, also been a judge in one of the Science Tune competitions. Um, he also has a YouTube channel titled uh, Vidya with um, Vishal Muleya, where he, um, where he brings facts and figures um, that are in relation to science. Um, welcome, Mr. Um, Vishal, um, over to you. To have the discussion with the audience for the uh, interesting and one of the fascinating way of putting science through the uh, cartoons and that is sign tones. Now, what exactly cartoons are? If I uh, simply, if uh, any of the teacher is asking what exactly the cartoon, so definitely student will raise and say, uh, we are kids, agree, but uh, are you kidding ma'am? Because uh, Cartoon is not the term which is need introduction. But here, when we say sign tone, it is mixing of uh, signs with the cartoons. So it become sign tone. And the branch uh, which is dealing with the sign tone is sign tonics. This term sign tone is the gift to the world by one of the Indian Dr. Pradeep Srivastava. Uh, he is the pioneer of the Sindones, Sindonex at international level. And the connection between Africa and uh, India is the term Sindone was used first time in South Africa. So I am very happy to present the Sindones. Let me begin with the way he started, uh, Dr. P. K. Srivastava started putting the Sindones in this way. Here, some of the interesting elements of the sign tones are there, like first and foremost title is there. One side, uh, we are putting the facts so that information will be available. Then the cartoon part, so automatically it become funny and uh, speech. We almost follow, we all those who are uh, followers of uh, Dr. P.K. Srivastava, we follow the same method. Sometimes we do the deviation we, we, we can make the sign tone without writing the facts. And uh, if I speak how I am making, so first and foremost, I wish to give a title. And after giving the title, very interesting or very important one is the reference because the information which we are 
delivering should have the authenticity then after the research work or the information which we want to pass and then after uh, i am mixing the digitalization so i am putting one by one some of the images here because it is uh, regarding the chimpanzee and music so i have put uh, a couple who is dancing on the music and chimpanzee who is dancing and to show that they are dancing on music so we put some of the musical notes and automatically it become the picture which is depicting about the facts now some of the speech that here a couple who is dancing where husband is saying honey you are dancing quite beautifully on the music and immediately our uh, chimpanzee is answering that don't flirt um, even i can dance on music so chimpanzee can dance on music this is what the research is saying and why that research came or what exactly that research is depicting that can be in the next word that our ancestors started it before 6 million years ago so we have the genes which is common in chimpanzee and us uh, which is saying that we can dance on music sometime i put my email id so that whoever is interested can contact me and uh, because i am putting it uh, free for all to use so it is i am putting the creative common logo so that whoever wish to use for academic purpose they can use it they can explore it they can print it and they can share it with uh, whom so ever they wish only not for the directly commercial purpose anyway so this is how i am making the sign on even now i started making sign on with uh, animation because now in the digital era we can go little bit ahead and here we can see one of the boy from whose pocket uh, coins are falling now when coins are falling down immediately um, one of the well known scientist our newton uncle we can say uncle because he is quite elder so newton came and newton is explaining newton is explaining gravity is universal it will pull the coin from your pocket if you don't follow the rules so uh, this is the funny way where the animation is also explaining about the signs another thing is we can have n number of molecules and that molecules can become funny can become animated can waves you so here uh, most of student would identify most of people would identify uh, it is glucose and then after putting this funny uh, animation we can give the speech uh, glucose is saying hi i am glucose you cannot survive without me so this is way we can uh, enjoy the science with the help of cartoons and that is ultimately signed on it is not only me or uh, pradeep sir who is uh, doing this uh, there are certain people at uh, international level but may not be using the word sign tone or may not be going through the proper scientific way to explain the sign tone or to put the uh, sign tone like there are uh, harris sydney harris who is making lot many sign tones but there sometime you may get only a funny part may not be having complete information even anderson is putting it in name the ander tone certain more is there like from nick d kim the, there is a website labinitia.com there are lot many sign tones are available some of the commercial website is also putting sign tone as one category and uh, all this by various uh, uh, national or international cartoonist there is a try there is a, a, a trial to make these signs famous with the help of cartoons but the thing what exactly requiring is the complete element of the sign tone where fact figure reference information and fun that is the ultimately making the sign tone some of the animated or some of the easy way to make the sign tone i am presenting let me begin with the benzene we know very well what exactly the benzene so 
on the blackboard we can make because i am teacher i always like to use blackboard so on blackboard it is very easy to make uh, benzene uh, the moment we are be making benzene we start thinking about chemistry but rather making chemistry put certain fun have the eyes make it uh, with the smiley and uh, to give more expression have the pupils or giving the details to the eye and after giving this details now this become the sign tone of benzene you ask them to see on the different direction it will start looking to different direction we can ask them to see up so it will start looking up if we ask them to see toward me it will start looking toward me and if you uh, ask them to look different way it will start looking in different way whatever the way you want to have the cartoon benzene will become cartoon in front of us and if you take lot of work from him him or uh, her whatever they say uh, about the gender of benzene it will start crying and here the animation comes we can show benzene is crying sometime uh, if we don't react with benzene properly our sign tone can cry we can give them suit boot and make the gentleman benzene can be gentleman and the moment benzene can be gentleman they will start discussing with us they can talk with us we can have dialogue with benzene and benzene will say hi baby i am c6h6 commonly known as benzene the moment they become human figure they start discussing a lot with us they will have more interaction with us that by putting a feather of methyl group i'll become toluene so here now benzene is discussing with you that uh, if you put the feather so go for methylation and it become toluene further it will help if you change the toluene or if you change the feather with hydroxyl group i'll help in cleaning i have no need to say it become phenol so here benzene is saying if you sign to nice me i will talk with you and we want that all this chemicals or all this scientific fact and figure have a discussion with us and inspire us for more and more scientific work let's make an insect nowadays in the digital era it is not very difficult have the one circle followed by the uh, another part of the insect put the eyes this that and give a smiley also because it is cartoon and it is not necessarily uh, necessary to go for the perfection because sign tone cartoons sign tones are after all cartoons and this cartoons may not be having perfection may not be having mistake may be having mistake and that perfectness which is requiring in the painting is not necessarily be there in this cartoon and that's why anyone can make it the only thing is there should be scientific mindset here let like this uh, insect have the discussion with our ball and uh, stick cartoon who is using the mobile and uh, the moment uh, insect is finding the human being is uh, discussing with the mobile or using the mobile it is saying your mobile waves are disturbing me this is one of the fact but here cartoon is saying to us your mobile waves are disturbing me if i am disturb i won't go for pollination so here automatically we have uh, depicted that insects are important for the pollination and then it is further showing if i won't go for pollination you will not get fruit so this is how we understand the importance of the importance of the insect with the help of sign tone now there is one of the simplest way to make the cartoon with the text only for by the teachers teachers can use this simply write nacl and hydrogen this is very easy for any of the communicator to write the moment you write this have the little bit fun put some of the eyes some of the dots and that dots is making the eye of that text and that become sign tone now it become cartoon and it will start talking so here when we put the uh, dots or when we put the eyes in the form of dots we have to 
do the little bit correction orientation of the eye is becoming very important here na and cl is looking to each other because we have changed the direction of eyes and now making the very perfect see here it is looking in different direction but the moment we change the direction of the or uh, position of the dots we can simply make them looking to each other and then they will start discussing first sodium is talking to chlorine hi chlorine don't go near to hydrogen uh, i don't know what problem would be having with the hydrogen or sodium and hydrogen is having jealousy so chlorine is asking why what is the problem sodium is explaining with hydrogen you will become acidic here our scientist is teaching the student that with the help of hydrogen or with the mixing with the hydrogen hydrogen chloride that is hcl will become acidic sodium is saying further you if you remain with me you will be having more value i think i have no need to explain what is the value of sodium chloride we cannot enjoy food without sodium chloride so with the hydrogen you will be having more value after depicting this hydrogen is looking to the sodium chloride see here hydrogen is looking and hydrogen is entering and hydrogen is saying to the chlorine don't worry chlorine if you leave the sodium alone it will burn because of jealousy we know very well why sodium is burning but here it is cartoon so hydrogen can be cartoonized and have the humanitarian way to speak about the burning with the help of jealousy or burning by jealousy so further the dialogue is going on between the sodium and hydrogen that don't torture me i will burn by oxidation not by jealousy if you burn you will burn by explosion hydrogen is saying yes but for your kind information because i am explosive i am useful as hydrogen bomb and that may be the destructive term but the important one is if you use with, with use me with the control technology i can be future fuel so here hydrogen is teaching automatically in the cartoon way that i can be future fuel and further it is saying the universal truth i am number 1 in periodic table i am number 1 in periodic table and i will be number 1 in the coming period because it is going to be important fuel so this is how uh, we can make a simple test simple text as a cartoon or as a sign down have some of the sign down made by me uh, let me begin with the elements so it is elemental cartoon here the sodium is there and uh, that sodium we are giving the name in the center so automatically it will be easy to identify and uh, after putting this sodium sodium will start discussing hi i am sodium with the symbol of na and similar way we can make uh, chlorine also and uh, no need to say that uh, sodium and chlorine both together will start together we can make food tasty this thing which is animated can be put in a different way if we wish to print so both possibilities are available animation as well as printing in the sign tone let me go for further elements here gold is there and no need to say gold is uh, having their own value so it is saying i am precious metal on earth i have no need to explain about their value but here to demolish the um, uh, attitude of gold one little girl is coming and that little girl is asking so what you are precious but neither bread nor soup can be made from you we cannot use gold as a food it is not useful for uh, helping us in overcoming from our hunger or trust uh, or thirst so here automatically sodium uh, automatically this gold is uh, coming to us and have a discussion in the form of sign down meanwhile oxygen is saying oxygen is always coming in uh, pair so oxygen is saying hi and oxygen can explain us 
that without us you cannot survive yes of course we know very well and uh, after this oxygen carbon is coming and carbon is very happy to explain their story so carbon is saying listen my story he is depicting depicting the story that there is a boy and that boy is say, is worried about the exam pressure so boy is saying oh no i can't bear this exam pressure carbon is coming and saying in the form of carbon is here in the form of pencil and in the pencil there is graphite so carbon is saying pressure will make you diamond or you will remain simply as graphite and we know very well that graphite is having poor value in comparison to diamond so pressure is playing very important role so here sindon is uh, coming with the both the things moral as well as scientific information at the same time diamond is coming to us and saying agree with the presser but proper presser will make you diamond today if you take the carbon and start giving the presser it will not become diamond so proper time proper presser will make the diamond make the precious continuing with the elements we know very well about the hydrogen hydrogen is most abundant in universe and uh, it is always positive because by removing the electron we know very well it become positive and because it is positive here i am putting or here we can put hydrogen as the motivational speaker it is start motivating everyone that if you remain positive you will always have the value and we know the value of hydrogen so further continuing that we know very well that uh, hydrogen is very important for the nuclear fission which is going on in the sun so here the discussion is happening between sun and hydrogen as the human being let hydrogen has the uh, human figure and they start discussing sun is discussing that i provide energy to entire solar system that is fact we know but at the same time hydrogen is saying is it so who is providing energy to you so ultimately hydrogen is providing energy to sun so this fact can be put with the help of sindon continuing with the helium a noble gas and when it is noble gas it is uh, not reacting with anyone so it is like the yogi baba of the you know uh, the one monk who is not interested in anything not reacting with anyone so not asking anyone to do anything that's why helium is presented in the yogi form and uh, monk form which is saying think twice before you react because you are alive you are not chemical and that is one of the moral to us we have to think twice before we speak or before we react because we are human being we are not simply chemical continuing with the helium helium is number 2 and uh, it is the second most uh, element available in the universe making up to 24% mass of the universe and still it is noble gas so now helium become a gentleman the sindon of helium become gentleman at uh, that gentleman is saying either you can be number 1 or you can be noble so to be noble sometime you have to lose the number 1 but not necessary that losing number 1 become useless you can be noble with the help of second position also continuing with the radon radon is doing yoga and it is having a very huge mass 222 but uh, it is still not reacting with any chemical it is radioactive also and here the same continuing with the discussion with the uh, element or element is talking to us with increasing the mass you can be radioactive but not necessarily to be chemoactive xenon is uh, of course one of the noble gas and uh, xenon is having little bit reactivity it is reacting with fluorine it is reacting with oxygen so xenon is doing yoga and doing the yoga along with yoga it is saying little bit reactivity doesn't mean that i you can throw me out 
from the league of novel gas so here my, these elements are very happy to be there in the group of novel gas further continuing with the ignition this ignition is very heavy it is uh, atomic uh, heaviest uh, uh, highest atomic mass uh, uh, it is having and uh, it is radioactive also so if we put them we have to put a fatty person and this fatty person is uh, discussing with chemist because after all element is studied very well in the chemistry and physics this element is saying that um, is there anyone who is ready to challenge about weight chemist is saying first be stable because uh, ignition is not stable so first and foremost be stable and then claim so here the cartoon is discussing about the value of the element or importance of the element let me move little back uh, with the scientist and in the science history coming to welcome to the biochemistry restaurant in the biochemistry restaurant if chemist is there and uh, if chemist is going for the food waiter will ask sir what is your order now chemist biochemist is having continuously uh, protein in their mind biochemicals in their mind so with the absent mind it is answering soup of carbohydrate uh, wafer of protein fried with fatty acids and uh, uh, noodles with dna noodles of dna so this is how we can put the fun of the science uh, we know very well about primordial soup and coacervatives which is associated with the evolution so let we change the restaurant from the biochemistry restaurant to the evolution restaurant and in the evolution restaurant same way when the waiter is asking the scientist gentleman with the absent minded saying that primordial soup for me and juice of coacervatives for sir because they are continuously busy with their scientific uh, work they become absent minded and sometimes they behave in this way there are a lot many funny thing happen with the scientists sometime we'll have a discussion about it coming to the physics restaurant where uh, state of matter is discussed and here in the physics restaurant when the question is asked about the order the physicist is saying a soup of plasma with uh, ice cream of bose einstein condensed so this is how the fun happens with the scientists because they are continuously busy with the scientific work and we can have fun of them anyway continuing with the very specific scientist let we have the funny discussion between alfred nobel and uh, mendeleev we know very well about nobelium uh, nobelium is uh, having the symbol of no n o no and it is named after alfred nobel very well and um, 102 is their atomic mass after having this discussion have the hypothetical discussion between mendeleev and uh, alfred nobel they started chit chat they started discussing that hey alfred do you know the symbol of the element named after you now the question is already having the answer alfred is saying yes no now the question is already having answer smart and intelligent audience need no explanation of this question but people will understand the fun between the yes and no further the um, discussion is happening between chemist and uh, alfred nobel so chemist is uh, asking to alfred nobel that dear sir what is your comment on the entry of periodic table now alfred nobel is answering very genuinely it took 100 years and more than 100 elements because it is 102 so more than 100 years and more than 100 elements to get entry in the periodic table so this is how the scientific history can be put in the cartoon way let me have the discussion between fermi and mendeleev mendelium and fermium no need to explain it they are here as the uh, caricature who is having discussion with us 
So Mendel is asking, hey, Fermi, after all, we got entry in the periodic table. And Fermi is saying, yes, you are at 100 and I am at 101. So automatically, the atomic mass of Mendelium and Fermium is explained. How the discussion between Fermi and uh, Einstein, both are physicists, we know very well. Einstein is saying, hello, Fermi. Are you recalling? We met in 1924 at Leiden. So um, answer is there by Fermi. And now we are together. We are together means uh, the, they are together in the periodic table also. William Ramsey, well known for the Nobel guess, is with the uh, all Nobel guesses in hand. And uh, here the Nobel Prize itself is saying that Nobel guesses are not reacting with uh, anyone, but Nobel guess can react with Nobel Prize Committee so that Ramsey will get the Nobel Prize. So here we have included the Nobel Prize also. Now. Let's have the more fun. Suppose uh, Newton is there as a priest and uh, that priest is there for giving the blessings to the married couple. So uh, marriage is going on, a couple is there and uh, Newton is present. So Newton will give the blessings in their own way that like gravity, you always have an attraction, no repulsion. So this is how consider the Newton can give the blessings. Further, Newton is giving blessings that let your life be vibrant uh, or having a vibrancy through the uh, prism. So here automatically the mindset of uh, Newton is presented. Continuing with the uh, couples, here Einstein is there and Einstein is saying like E is equal to MC square, convert your sexual energy into living matter. That means the living baby have a good baby by that way it is blessing so automatically scientists cannot escape from their mindset even in the common talk we have the galaxy of scientists we have a number of scientists so if you bring all this scientist here uh, couple will not get time to celebrate their first night so let me move ahead and move to the environmental sign which is very important for the awareness our earth is very happy, it is dancing. Rather, it was dancing, I can say. Now it is crying and it is crying with because of the pollutants. The pollutants uh, created by us. So this earth is going to the father of medicine, Hippocrates. And it is requesting that I am suffering from a disease called pollution. Why do so? Why I am suffering from it? And here Hippocrates is saying, which may be pinching to us, that dear earth, you are infected by pollution making organism. No need to say, pinpointing to us. And to have the awareness about the environment, to have the awareness about water, or another important aspects of the environment, we can have more and more symptoms. See here a person is waiting in the restaurant and uh, to the person, waiter is coming and waiter is coming with the uh, wine and a glass of water and saying, sir, wine is very cheap, only 100 bucks. Water is costly, 1 million bucks. If we don't save the water, this will be the future and that can be put very nicely with the help of signed on. Have certain medical comedy. Uh, one boy is uh, uh, proposing to the medical girl that I wish to be, uh, I wish to remain near your heart. A girl is from the medical background. So automatically we are teaching where exactly near the stomach or near the lungs or near the liver or near the gallbladder. So uh, to teach all the body part, here, Sainton can be there in your service. Human is having a lot many microbes and uh, uh, we are never alone. That is what the microbiologists are saying. Our 43% body is made up of bacteria and other organisms. So when the uh, human is sentenced to death and uh, police is asking, what is your last wish? 
smartly the cartoon is saying i wish to survive for the microbes living with me so automatically sandun is explaining continuing with the uh, body uh, with the weight on the different planets the person with the lot of fat and we know very well that our body weight will be different in different planet so here a lady is uh, there on the weighing machine and uh, weighing machine is saying dear ma'am you are right person with the right weight but you are on the wrong planet and this is one of the way to have the mischief with anyone if you wish let we have one more uh, sign down about the astronomy here earth is crying and rest of all the planets are uh, watching that earth is crying and then they start discussing we should take uh, care of her after all she is infected by pollution making creature unfortunately homo sapiens sapiens so this is the way um, it is putting us about the everything uh, continuing with the same way uh, venus is rotating in the clockwise way rest of our anti clockwise so here uh, rest of all are making venus separate so venus is afraid what's wrong with you all it's because i am rotating clockwise so uh, rest of her saying dear venus there is nothing like clockwise or anti clockwise in space but you are against us and minority is always uh, in the problem and majority is always winning in the democracy so here uh, one of the fun with the political world also possible continuing with uh, it is a research that uh, oxygen fugacity in the extra solar rocks can be uh, helpful us in understanding where earth like planet is there so um, science scientist has found by that way that can be lot many earth like planet and here one of the young scientist is saying that uh, uh, one of the young astronomer is saying that it is surprise there are lot many earth like planet and the elder one is explaining why it so so this is way the research is explained that with the help of oxygen fugacity it is possible to study continuing with the astronomy there was a research about the discovery of certain moons many moons in the um, uh, space and moons of the various planet so here uh, at number 3 there is pluto uh, at number uh, uh, with the 79 moons jupiter at second rank and uh, saturn is the one which is having 82 moons because recently 20 new moons are discovered so uh, the scientist is saying that ultimately the first prize for having maximum moons goes to uh, saturn so this is how uh, we can have the astronomy with the help of scientons let we have certain animal related uh, scientons and uh, since elephant is uh, having a very common association with india as well as africa i have selected certain uh, scientons associated with the elephants so Uh, elephant is uh, having very poor vision it can see up to 20 meters but having very high ability to uh, listen they can hear a wide range of uh, spectrum and having a very good sense of smell also so um, consider that the reporter is taking the interview of elephant and asking that what is your comment on this knowledge so um, uh, elephant is saying specs can be there for correcting the eyesight but there is no device to correct the smell uh, to have the improvement in the smell so there is no specs for the nose that's why eyesight can be corrected with the specs now we know very well that uh, elephants are having the longest uh, gestation period and that's why uh, when they apply for the maternity leave they can apply at least for 18 months can be put in the scientific way 
elephant uh, are color blind and uh, when elephant are color blind and newton is coming to him newton is coming to them and elephant is answering dear newton i appreciate your efforts to have the vibrancy or to explain the vibrancy but for your kind information i am color blind so this is how we can uh, have the interesting facts about the elephant with the help of sign on we know very well elephant cannot jump and uh, because of uh, uh, their bones and uh, their weight and lot many things are there facts are already known in comparison to them reds are having 223 bones less in comparison to elephant so here uh, two reds are discussing that you know this poor elephant is jealous of us because he cannot jump like us <laughs> so of course there is no interaction exactly between this but uh, sainton is explaining that who can jump and who cannot further elephant is known for their memory they can recall for the lifetime and of all the land animals they are having largest brain so here one of the uh, uh, caricature or you can say cartoon is having discussion with the elephant mm, what they are discussing that hey what is the secret of your memory and automatically uh, uh, the elephant is answering which is very important for us and which is very important for the students that we neither waste time in mobile games nor in watching the idiot box so they can have more and more memory continuing with the elephant uh, elephant is worried uh, when elephant is getting information it is there is a um, pregnancy test positive so unfortunate part but reality another uh, elephant is or pregnant elephant is explaining uh, doctor is it okay to have the baby in this wrong environment or in this poor environment where deforestation poaching are the threats to the baby so this is unfortunate part but uh, applicable to all of us continuing the same way here uh, the news came that uh, uh, this elephants when we remove it from the wild they are having the problem so uh, there was a research but uh, when the elephant is discussing with this research another research is saying why they are capturing us and putting back better to stop capturing further unfortunate part but we know very well that african elephant species are now endangered and critically endangered according to iucn list so uh, let me put iucn as the human being and uh, iucn is saying that uh, putting you in the red list uh, will help you in the conservation so elephant is saying first putting and then conservation this much is enough to explain about the feeling of another animal toward us uh, one of the interesting fact that uh, zeziva is the alphabetically last species in the dictionary so that insect is saying that i hope i won't be uh, last in the survival because of the pollution and other anthropogenic activity so here um, along with the scientific information certain satire is also possible and uh, moral can be included continuing with the um, immortal jellyfish so jellyfish we know very well uh, they they won't die because they they have capacity to regenerate they can go for trans differentiation so here death and jellyfish is there death is saying i am inevitable jellyfish is saying not for me because they have the capacity to regenerate uh, snail is well known for sleeping for 3 years so let me put this in the funny way there is a classroom where snail is uh, coming and snail is coming after some 3 years and after 3 years when they enter in the classroom madam is asking where were you for 3 years snail is simply answering sleeping <laughs> unfortunate but fact octopus is well known uh, uh, for lot many interesting and funny facts and they always surprise us female octopus is often larger 
and hungrier so it will it it can go for cannibalism and uh, we can put the same way in the sandon form here male and female elephant is uh, octopus is there and this male and female octopus is doing romance and informing us um, female is saying i love you dear my all three heart is beating for you octopus is having three hearts so here automatically information is given now coming to another interesting fact male is saying my all brain from each arm they are having each uh, bra one brain in each arm so at least eight mini brains are shouting be careful because you can eat me any time female uh, octopus is eating male after mating that is well known fact so here the funny facts is put uh, in the sandon form this is one of the uh, very old sandon made by me uh, which is showing the relationship between the african culture and indian culture musical preference of chimpanzee um, there there was a research that uh, chimpanzee is uh, easily understanding indian music and african music they prefer to dance but they won't dance or they won't enjoy uh, western music so i put this information and the photograph of chimpanzee those days i was not making very beautiful or um, i was simply putting the information so it was not drawing it was simply put the photograph it is uh, of 2015 i put certain uh, musical notes to have the environment like music and then the words in the mouth of chimpanzee that yes to saregama of indian classical music or hillalala ho ho of african music but no to western music this is how the uh, what you can say uh, the scientific fact or this was the scientific research which uh, i put there in the form of uh, signed on coming to some of the interesting part regarding the signed on from the modern technology uh, i am usually busy with the making signed ons based on latest research latest discovery so mainly on the based of the modern technology rather than putting on the scientific facts and figures this is the first time i did the trial of making uh, sandons based on only scientific fact and figure but uh, more and more my area focus area is uh, uh, sandons based on the latest discovery anyway let me continue with the sandons based on certain modern technology uh, let's have einstein with us einstein is looking to the nurse and uh, nurse is holding a baby einstein uh, exactly looking like einstein and uh, it is very much surprising for the einstein so einstein is saying baby is completely like me how it is possible <laughs> nurse is answering oh it is genetic engineering cloning it is very easy um, einstein is very genuinely saying it is miracle Uh, was not possible in my days and we know very well these are the latest technology was not available those days nurse is saying it is not something unusual nurse is saying that uh, it is nothing we can have something more also when nurse said that uh, something more is also possible uh, beyond the imagination of uh, albert einstein albert einstein started thinking what she is talking about and uh, when albert einstein was thinking nurse came with another baby and that another baby is a fantastic one having the neck like giraffe now when einstein uh, watched that or seen that uh, baby where the neck is very long he said what is this how it is possible and uh, nurse is explaining it is crispr technology crispr technology where we can change the genes from one organism to another organism we can have gene editing we know very well about the gene editing and the modern technology crispr technology for which 
recently nobel prize was given so uh, here with very very modern technology or uh, scientific research latest scientific research can be explained in very 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 easy and uh, interesting and fantastic way uh, certain uh, uh, scientons i am putting which is based on the research and uh, made by me earlier i have already put this this is already there on my blog there was a research uh, that uh, there is possible to have baby with the only and only father or only and only mother so by paternal or by maternal baby is possible this is what the research is saying and uh, it has been uh, published in the cell journal by lee and their team so here to have this interesting uh, research that is it is possible to have by maternal or by paternal baby uh, which is which was uh, conducted or research was conducted on mice so here two female mice is very happy and dancing that oh hurray uh, we have a baby without male uh, so we have no need of male in the future and uh, a lot many babies were uh, dancing and babies were there at the same time male baby were there uh, male mice were there and uh, they were discussing poor lady they are not knowing or foolish lady they are not knowing it is the lab experiment and it even it is possible to have a uh, baby without female without intervention of female so by paternal or by maternal mice is possible and uh, the last part which is punching part that is put by um, uh, that is what is uh, spoken by another mice that uh, that means if there is either uh, maternal or paternal but if there is by paternal mice then the kids will say only papa papa and papa no mama because they are having only papa so uh this is the latest research which is put in the funny way and after looking to this a uh, person will be start taking interest in the research and already references given in the lower part in the reference section so automatically those who are interested and in can go for further uh, information coming to the uh, a very important aspect of the uh, sindon here i i i personally believe that uh, scientons should not be restricted or should not be there only and only for the scientific information it should have some moral also because ultimately the aim of science is to develop the society to have the more and more morality more and more upliftment of the human being so uh, here i have tried to put certain uh, examples where uh, uh, i have tried to mix this uh, signed on with the morals um there is a patient on the death bed and uh, according to indian mythology the god of the death is yamaraj so this uh, this feature this figure is the death of god yamraj and yamraj is uh, there to take the soul of the uh, person who is there on death bed and yamraj is asking what is your last wish uh, this is one of the common way to ask of course yamraj is not asking or death is not asking anyone about the last wish but let me put hypothetically that yamraj is asking what is your last wish and the person who is there on the death bed uh, is answering very nicely which is uh, very important in the terms of science in the terms of humanity and to have the moral the person is answering our bio teacher taught us our bio teacher taught us that eyes can survive for 6 hours after death and so i wish to donate my eyes uh my dear friends uh, those who are viewers uh i am recalling my grandfather as well as my mother both uh, uh, after death in the both case after death 
I was donated. And uh, when I was putting this uh, uh, signed on, I was remembering the incidents that uh, once I had a discussion about this uh, fact that after six hours, uh, within six hours, I can be donated. Lot many other people inspired and started donating the eyes and giving life to two other people who is not having vision. So uh, with the help of signed on, um, we can have the scientific information here. Eyes is surviving, surviving for six hours is the scientific information. But uh, I wish to donate the eyes is the moral which uh, Sainton is explaining. And I hope that with this moral, with this information, someone will decide to donate the eye after death because after your death, eyes will not be useful to you. So if someone is doing the eye donation or declaring the eye donation, I will, uh, I, I will consider the success of this lecture. Um, Anyway, continuing with the some other story, which is very important for us. We are making a lot of uh, uh, plastic pollution. This is unfortunate part, uh, but uh, it is damaging the environment. And here, uh, there are two turtles. Uh, there was a research that a sea turtle is making mistake of the uh, plastic and uh, plastic smell is mimicking with the food. So they take the plastic as a food and uh, plastic will choke up in their uh, digestive system and it is damaging the, their life. It is uh, threatening their life. So two turtles are uh, discussing and here these two turtles are discussing that uh, this is research by human being. The turtle is uh, um, harmed by the plastic. They are considering the food. So one turtle is saying, dear turtle, it is cartoon, so they can have the discussion. Dear turtle, um, research is now saying, or uh, research is explaining that uh, uh, plastic is harmful for us. But another turtle is answering, which is, uh, pinpointing to us unfortunately pinpointing to us and we should think in this direction and another one is saying i am also hungry i am also worried about the food i am also getting the problem but do you think human will understand this and if we start discussing about the plastic pollution with our new generation with the younger generation with the children in this way maybe in future uh, they will get the moral, they will get the moral ideas and they may come up with the uh, avoiding the plastics or they may come up with the certain solutions which is need of the future. Uh, we know very well that we are making a lot of pollution, even the pollution in the terms of noise. So here, uh, well is discussing, we know very well that well is singing very nicely in the ocean. So, but uh, this uh, sing, song of the whale is uh, disturbed because of the noise pollution made by this um, submarines and the ship, merchant ship and uh, all the vessels we can say in the ocean. So uh, one whale is discussing to another fish that uh, these ships are not allowing me to sing this song. So if they don't sing the song, they will not get mad. So it is uh, harming to their reproduction also. So um, when the uh, whale is too much worried, they are saying that I want to change the name. I want to change the systematics and I want to change the name of human being. Human being should be named as noisy sapiens sapiens. Uh, luckily, animals are not having rights, otherwise animals will uh, literally throw us out from the earth because we are making a lot of pollution. Another uh, uh, fish is answering, um, only and only noise pollution? Mm, correct it. Uh, they are polluting the entire world. So human being should be named omnipollutant pollutant. My dear friends, uh, 
uh, if we don't follow this systematics then literally rather than being the homo sapiens sapiens we will be considered as the homo pollutant pollutant or omni pollutant pollutant and our future generation will not spare us uh, future generation will literally not get the uh, beautiful earth which we are having and it is our moral duty to give that beautiful earth without pollution to our next generation to to enjoy their life uh, rather than forcing the um, other uh, other animals for the changing the systematics let we continue here uh, we know very well that uh, global warming is one of the problem and there was a research uh, there was a research that uh, penguins are not having capacity to test bitterness they don't have genes for testing the different kind of test so uh, in the antarctic region this polar bear is saying that because of the anthropogenic activity or because of this human activity we are uh, losing our residence that is antarctic region uh, we know very well about the global warming i will not explain about it but uh, when this question is asked that uh, it is happening so do you have bitterness against human being and uh, penguin is answering we are not human being so we should not have bitterness see how how cartoon can uh, show the moral to us that uh, bitterness is the only characteristics in the mind of human being and uh, penguin is further ex explaining that bitterness is not there even in our thought because it is not there in our gene so uh, here uh, with the help of scientons with the help of scientific cartoons with the help of simply cartoons we can have the n number of stories we can have n number of scientific fact and figure <coughs> which can help us in exploring more and more about science and communicating science in the easiest way so here i am coming to the end of my discussion thanks a lot thanks to the organizer for giving me an opportunity and in the uh, indian way i can say namaste and thank you very much abhar uh, for giving the opportunity to the very wide audience and to the people of the africa thank you very much now you can have the questions um thank you very much mr vishal for the informative and fun presentation um now to our questions um the first question i would like to ask you is what inspired scientronics as a way of teaching science oh um yeah. see uh, fun is always liked by the young generation student would always uh, like to go for funny things yeah. rather than having only informative uh, uh, text so uh, if teacher use this sign tone in their classroom or if communicator will use this sign tone definitely uh, it will help in uh, communicating in easy way and uh, student will get inspired to learn more and more about science okay so basically what you're saying um is that you foresee a future um in using um scientonics as a method of um teaching science in you know in 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 primary school um and high school level to just introduce science to um the minors yes uh see there should be uh, at least uh, one chapter of scientune how to make the scientone how to have the all elements of scientone in the uh, scientone uh, in it should be there in the curriculum of uh, uh, ba ed like uh, educational degrees so when teacher is going for the teaching they should have uh, something in the mindset to make the science more informative and more funny more funny is very important thing here in the terms of scientone oh, okay um are there any other questions uh 
Um, I think I have one more question from my side. Um, I noticed that you um, you you have the cartoons, you have them as um, a picture, and you also have them in a the form of a um, moving animation. Have you considered um, um, bringing your cartoons into um, or bringing them to life in terms of um, a cartoon series or um, animation series? Uh, still, I have not. I have not done anything uh, which is uh, which can be considered as this series, but uh, uh, after starting about the normal uh, scientific fact and figure in the terms of Scienton, uh, now I am planning to have a small booklets uh, of some hundred Scientons related to one particular element or uh, Scientons related to one particular animal or scientists related to astronomy. So likewise, uh, uh, books are in the pipeline, you can say. Um, oh. within, within near future, it will be there. Yeah. So for our viewers, I would like to know where they can access um, your scientists. Oh, my blog is already there, uh, where uh, my all scientists are available. Uh, I am putting it on Twitter. I am putting it on the Facebook. Uh, my blog is there. It is wikimuliablogspot.in. So from my blog, from uh, uh, YouTube channel, you can access, you can get it. It is not very difficult. And uh, those who are interested to reuse it for the academic purpose, they can use it. They can uh, display in their classroom. They can take the printout and put it on the notice board, let student enjoy. But uh, mm -hmm. certain efforts has to be taken by the school authorities to have the printout of that uh, cartoon. And if someone is interested uh, to translate it in the African languages, I will be happy to send it uh, without text so they can convert English into their local language and they can uh, have, uh, you know, it will be very easy uh to communicate in own language so if anyone is interested if anyone is approaching definitely i will send them uh information uh, i mean the uh, sign tune part without text so from english they can put text and uh, have it in their own language um oh okay um, thank you, Mr. Vishal. I think that is all the questions from my side. I don't think there has been any other questions that have came in. Um, thank you very much for taking the time and um, enlightening us in terms of science tunics. And well, also, I think they're quite interesting. They, they, they're quite impactful in terms that they also um, give insight into the world issues such as deforestation and poaching, which are quite, um, you know, um, huge problems in, in, in terms of the um, endangered um, species. So thank you very much. And I'd also like to thank our attendees for actually taking the time out of their busy schedules to, you know, um, and joining us today. So thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.